What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Odin. His name is Garand Monster. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Hades. His name's Chemo. The map, however, the map, some might say it's the greatest creation ever made. Some may say that Zeus himself came down and declared that this map was his. But others might say that Ra had a little bit of something, something to say about it, but hasn't really had a chance to speak about it. Uh, possibly for the past, I don't know, what is it, 18 or so years? I don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. If you do, you can loll about it. Anyways, we don't see Zeus in this game. We see Hades. We see it's Mediterranean. Everyone's favorite map. We see a Scardy Dock here from uh, from Kimo, and we see a Scardy Dock, or uh, sort of a Scardy Dock here from Grand Monster. You probably wouldn't have seen it. But essentially, they're not the worst of docks. This one's obviously pretty bad. But you want to put your docks, like if you could see the whole map, you want to put a dock here, you want to put a dock here, you want to put a dock here, you know, just put it in the right spot. Take the time, the extra five seconds it takes to find the bloody Mahi Mahi is made up in the first minute of the game anyways. So, it is what it is. We see the house going up for chemo. Grand Monster, he's an interesting player. We'll see if he comes up with something here. I feel like the Norse players have been getting beaten up on this map for a long time, but it's very sad. But Grand Monster, he's not a—he's not one to get bullied. He's going to show them how it is. He's got the Mithril Horseshoes. He's got it. This is his chance. His chance here. Go for uh, Freya, Njord, Fast Heroic, into Thundering Hooves. Mithril Horseshoes, um, Odin, Njord, what's it called? Ring Giver, Jarl. Why not? Why not? Probably because it's bad, but you know, whatever. What can you do? Um, what have we got over here? Another relic. I love relics. Oh, Fetters of Fenrir is not the best. Anyways, we'll just ignore that that's there because they're going to ignore it as well. And um, fishing ships doing fishing ship things. Grand Monster only with six fishing ships here. Looks like he has to build the house. Uh, I wonder what he goes for. He's throwing the temple down. Looks like it's going to be, if he starts it, uh, looks like it's good. Yeah, it should be a 3.30 here, or a 4.30, I should say, for Grand Monster. Temple going up a little bit late for Chemo. He may be going for a 3.45 or a 4.45, or clicking up at 3.45. He's actually just about to run out of pigs as well, does he? Oh, he's got some more coming in, so it's okay. Um, this, 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 uh, there's this new build order, which Greek players have found themselves loving, which... Allows them to get out an extra fishing ship or two early. Um, however, what it does is it eats all your herdables. And what that means is if you want to do anything food related, you're not going to be able to. So the question you ask yourself is the value of having eight fishing ships worth it? But it's really just a one fishing ship extra in the early game get it out a little bit faster for having no hurdles and i pose the question to you because i think the answer is nigh you don't want to do that instead what you want to do is you want to eat these chicken you want to get the hurdles as many as you can and let them fatten up there for the classical age because my friends semi-fast heroic here on mediterranean essentially guarantees and I, I would put the three-year money-back guarantee on this. Um, guarantees Greek players with uh, decent micro a win on Mediterranean on the Titans. But, um, yeah, 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 it's not what's happening here. And who knows? I say a lot of things. Sometimes people listen to me. A lot of the times they don't. Um, and we'll see what Grand Monster's going to do. Now, I've talked about what Norse wants to do on this map a lot. I'll say it again. I'm going to repeat it. Don't leave your docks. Don't ever leave your docks. Just run. Pretend like you're um what's it uh what's that 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 show? Doctor Who with the statues. Pretend like that that you're playing against the statues. 
Just run, you know? Don't even don't even blink. Don't blink. That that's it. Don't blink. Get back here. Hide underneath your dock. Force the Trireme to move forward. Because what Chemo is gonna want to do here. Chemo is gonna want to do this. He's all Chemo cares about right now is getting damage done. If he doesn't and not losing a Trireme. In fact, I honestly think the most um, the best way to play this early game as 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 Greek is to just bum rush. Oh, we see a forest fire. No kills, but uh, 50 wood of damage. Good stuff. Yep. Great. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, and he's already got two lumber camps. Um, anyways, uh, what you probably should be doing here as, as Greek is you just sac... Not even sac... You don't sacrifice Trireme, but you run... Look, this Trireme just stays back. Stays back until he wants to cast Restoration. Keep him away. Don't let him die. And you just deal damage and you deal damage and you deal damage and you say GG. Um, and that's it. Uh, and then you cast Restoration, and, and, and you've done all the damage, and he's done none. That's the general gist here for uh, for Greek. But And you can see that already a lot of damage is, is being spread out on Grandmaster's ships, which is fine. Um, and you do see that, yeah, Chemo's sort of doing this. He's keeping this low HP trium at the back. Very smart. Hold on to Restoration for as long as he can. He's moved all his wood villages over onto this uh, wood line. He probably should have just rebuilt it over on the top, but I guess he's worried about the Valkyrie getting some value. Nice uh, nice harass here onto the ships yet again. Oh, Gotta kill that low trireme if you get a chance. That's the one you care about. Everything else, not much. Nice micro there from Grand Monster pulling the ships in. There's a restoration. That ship comes back up to nearly full HP. And then we see a couple of ships falling here for Grand Monster. Grand Monster going to have to retreat. He's got 11 uh, longboats to 12 trireme. So it's actually not so bad. How's the, the Oxcar placements here? That's the problem. That's the problem. you got to deal with that every single time. Um, control G, Control G. That's important as a Norse player. Uh, but now we're seeing uh, the pain about to be inflicted. Nice snipe on the fishing ship there. From Chemo. And we do see, yet again, a really nice fight here for Chemo. Nice micro back there from Grand Monster. Uh, but, oh god, he's, he's actually playing this really, really well. Uh, Grand Monster is just incredible micro at this point. Um, Chemo is just trying to throw volleys at, at Grand Monster. Got to go off to those low HP ships if you can. Look at them all. There's so many. Um, nice pullback there from Chemo. Equally good from Grand Monster, but there's just so many ships here for Kimo. Grand Monster's holding on for a nice... He shouldn't be fighting it. Just moves so slowly. Every time you retreat away from these Greek ships as Norse, you just take another volley or two uh, from them, and it's just so much damage. So much damage. These ships do like 18 damage per per uh, per volley onto these, uh, onto these longboats. Absolutely insane. I mean, it's, it's more like 16, but you know, whatever. Whatever. And Chemo retreating back. And he's going to sit here with his 21 ships. But right now, look at this. Chemo's got 21 villages on wood, and he's spamming from two docks. I guarantee you right now he's floating wood. Never mind. What's he spending wood on then? You only need 15 wood to produce trireme from two docks. Something super inefficient is going on here with these wood villages. Does he have hand axe? He does. I, I don't know what it is. He's, he's, stu he's scuffed his wood, his, uh, wood gather somehow. Uh, but essentially, you only need 15 villages on wood to produce from two triremes if you've got decent macro. Um, and he's, uh, he should be able to... It have a second talent center or something by now. But uh, it doesn't matter. He's just pumping in here. He's picking off longboats left, right, and center. Destroying them very, very nicely. And Grand Monster has to retreat here. And Kimura at this point, he's 14 ships to 22. Doesn't even care about the dock at this point. And he just keeps microing these longboats out. And Grand Monster is still pumping these out. It's nine minutes. It's a bit late. Uh, sorry, a bit too early to give up on water and Grand Monster's probably going to pump ships into the docks and Chemo's going to be fine to keep pumping his own ships out. And This is looking grim for Grand Monster, I'm not going to lie. Uh, lo losing water at this point in the match makes it tough, but we'll see if he can do anything. Problem is he doesn't have any herbals here yet again. Um, same issue that, uh, that Chemo, Chemo sort of has. Is he floating wood now? 
starting to float wood. We'll see. But he can uh, get that second town center now, and it's going for it. He'll get this third town center as well. Um, Grand Monster's still pumping these out. He's still going for it here, and, and, and Kimo, like, he can fight underneath two docks now with the amount of triremes he's got. He can, if Grand Monster focus fired this a little bit, look at this. One, oh my god. There's so many, like, one HP longboats or triremes here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Grand Monster could level this. 14 to 20. He could totally level this if he, if he uh, selected these ships and just focused the ones that are low HP. But he, but he's not. He's just letting them get max value. This is, this is almost just all focus fire micro from Grand Monster. This is why he's losing. And Chemo is just keeping his low HP ships alive. That's insane. So there's the there's the second town center. There's the third town center. The Raven's going to spot it. Grand Monster going to the second gold mine, still pumping villagers out. He's actually having to eat fish at this point, or eat herdables now, I should say, because his uh, fishing ships aren't, aren't there. So that hurts to, to see. He needs to throw down some longhouses in order to start getting this town center up. He needs to get the old sark out. Takes him a while to get going. Ooh, nice snipe of that fishing ship there as Grand Monster is starting to crumble. He does have three docks here. But, I mean... Technically, at this point, it's fine to have lost water, but not if your opponent's three town centers before you. Not if your opponent is three town centers before you. But it is what it is. Now, Kimo coming back in. He's not wanting to fight underneath three docks of fire, but he could kind of maneuver and fight under two, or even two here as well is totally fine. But I guess Kimo is almost happy to keep the population just low on water. Because he's got three town centers. He's just going to boom here. Boom and um, and be in a really, really good position. Still haven't grabbed the Mithril Horseshoes. Obviously, um, this relic's not one of the best in the game. He's a pretty good relic. Uh, probably should get this relic. Anyways, um, Trireme coming in. Going to be hitting these. Just fight it. You're, lit you're literally double his Trireme numbers. He just kill them all. You don't even have to look. He'll be doing a mirror. He's got ships attacking docks. Doesn't care. And Grand Monster finally pushed off the water here. Honestly, Kimo's probably overdone it on water here. And that it's it's probably it's probably good for Grand Monster. He does have a, a chance here. Town center's up. Chiron Minotaur coming in. More Ulfsark getting spammed out to build these longhouses. No walls up. Bit of a mistake there. The villagers or dwarves turning around. Going after the Minotaur. He kind of has to do this in order to snipe it. The Herser comes in, does kill off the Minotaur, but the Chiron's going to sit here and cause some issues. Some throwing and accident coming out. An armory coming down. A lot of military buildings here for Chemo. Uh, generally speaking here, you can just wall this off. Um, and then throw the armory down, go Heroic Age, go Mythic Age, and, and just sort of win the game as, as um, Greek. But you can you can end the game earlier if you spam units, but it's like, why take the risk? But he is taking, going to take down these docks very, very quickly. 1280 HP with 95% uh, PS armor. These, uh, these longboats or triremes take this down very quickly. There's a the cavalry movement speed relic. Finally, do we see some cavalry getting built? No. We will just have to move off of these deer. He does have an auroch back here. He's got chicken. He's got berries over here and a bear. He's got a deer here as well if he wants it. But um, what he needs drastically here is, is Scardy. And he's got it. He's got Scardy. He might be okay here. There is, there is a very real possibility... The Grand Monster can win this game. No matter what you guys believe right now with the score being almost 1,200 in favor of Chemo. He doesn't need to be getting... He just needs wood. Put these villages onto wood. Get double hill fort. Huskarl throwing Axemen. And against this army, maybe you're okay. 
Maybe you are. Maybe even just... Or maybe Rush Mythic Age is okay as well here. Not that the... Not that the Fimble Winter will, like... Give him the economic advantage, but it'll give him some time to, like... Attempt to... To hit late game against the Hades. And then with, um... Then with that Ollie, maybe okay. We'll see the Hill Fork going down fairly soon. Need to throw it up here and possibly frost this. I guess you can throw it up in the back. Waiting on the uh, medium infantry before he goes. Waiting for his hill fort. He'll throw it up at some point. It's not a bad position. I think he gets spotted by the trireme. Yeah, he spots it. But Kimo is not moving forward at this point. He's full villages. He's going through Apollo. Artemis will follow, I assume. Go for a very quick win here. For, make sure that um, he doesn't lose to Baldur or anything like that. But look at the resources for Chemo. <gasps> Already a thousand food. Heaps of wood in the bank. Grand Monster with next to nothing. A bunch of Frost Giants though. There is a gold issue that's going to be happening for Grand Monster. Because he's not going to get this gold. He has to walk all the way over here. You do see this Chemo's army for some reason is... Uh, Waddling right past this. There's no try. Well, there's a couple of trying, but it's very. It's not. They matter that much. What is, what, what is happening here? Where are you going, Grand Monster? Oh, Kimo's going irrigation quarry carpenters. It's like, I don't have enough economy. Let me get some more economy. Wait, does he have Persian? Yeah. He's got it all. Why isn't he going mythic? He's close. He's about to look up. Oh, the ghost building. He gets them. Oh, and the ghost out. Lots of extra damage done, though. Very nicely played there by Grand Monster. Giving him a big win there to get back. And look, we've already seen him catch up a little bit on the uh, on the score there. He was down by quite a bit before. And he is getting a town center as well. But Chiron coming in to try and distract this town center from going up there is an underworld he can use. We saw this in the last game. And he does go for it. Distracting the army away from that location there. Double walls here. I'm almost 100% sure if the medium throwing axeman hit this, this segment here, the wall damage will be shared between both of them. That's why we don't see this walling too much. Because, like, if you wall really close like this, the, the shared damage over the walls gets spread out. You see how it spreads on these walls? It spreads like uh, like this, not not just on what's connected, I think. I could be wrong, though. But Town Center going up for chemo. I assume it's Artemis. Yep, Artemis coming through. Fortified Town Center. Tear coming through for Grand Monster, though. So it's potential that he can frost the army and take this Town Center for himself. That's actually a smart move. I don't know if he's got the army for it, though. He's got a couple of Frost Giants. Three Frost Giants. But he doesn't have any of those Huskar he had in the first game. I guess we'll see. And it's also against four Town Centers instead of three Town Centers. So it's a lot more population to deal with. There's the Artemis for Chemo. Chemo's just going to Earthquake like the main Town Center or something, I guess. Reading back, you see Frost going down. The hill fort's up to secure this gold mine, but we'll see. Now this gold mine's no longer possible for Grand Monster, and maybe even an earthquake on here wins the game. This gold mine's done now. You see the Chimera's out for Chemo. Does he have a lot of villages on favor? He does. It's like he's going for some Chimera spam. Frost Giants breaking down this wall, helping uh, Grand Monster get in. Getting some technologies. Irrigation, tier, stone wall, flood control, sharps of the plague, earthquake going down on the main town center. Oh, kills all the houses, kills a frost giant, kills the town center. How much does he have left? 55. Disgusting. Thimble Winter coming down, but he casts it and realizes he's way too far behind. GG, well played by Chemo. Grand Monster trying to trying to make a game of it here. Almost did it. Just a little bit too slow there. Didn't get any value out of the frost. I kind of wish he frosted the army and sort of killed it like he did in that uh, second game and then hit the tier timing behind it. Or even maybe sent all his army over to get this town center, go three town centers and just attempt to fight late game. 
use the Yolman Elvis to, to kill the fish off in the middle or something. I don't know too much, but Chemo does take the win here. Gets to move on to the next round. Grey Monster's not out of this. If you don't know how these tournaments work, this is a double elimination. So if you lose the first game, you got another chance. Uh, so Chemo's on to round two. Grey Monster's in the loser's bracket. Has to win a lot of games to get back in here, but we might see him in the finals. If he keeps playing like this, he definitely has a chance. If you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on YouTube, please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.